Indigenous intellectual property is an umbrella legal term used in national and international forums to identify indigenous peoples' claims of intellectual property rights to protect specific cultural knowledge of their groups. It is a concept that has developed out of predominantly Western concepts of intellectual property law, and has most recently been promoted by the World Intellectual Property Organization, as part of a more general United Nations push to see the world's indigenous, intangible cultural heritage better valued and better protected against perceived, ongoing mistreatment, nation states across the world have experienced difficulties reconciling local indigenous laws and cultural norms with a predominantly Western legal system, in many cases leaving indigenous peoples' individual and communal intellectual property rights largely unprotected. Therefore, international bodies such as the United Nations have become involved in the issue, making more specific declarations that intellectual property also includes cultural property such as historical sites, artifacts, designs, ceremonies, and performing arts in addition to artwork and literature. <laughs> declarations regarding indigenous intellectual property While a number of Native American and First Nations communities have issued tribal declarations over the past 35 years, in the lead-up to and during the United Nations International Year for the World's Indigenous Peoples 1993, then during the following United Nations Decade of the World's Indigenous Peoples 1995 a number of conferences of both indigenous and non-indigenous specialists were held in different parts of the world, resulting in a number of unified declarations and statements identifying, explaining, refining and defining indigenous intellectual property. Topic: <inaudible> Resolution of the 5th Annual Meeting of the Traditional Elders Circle, October 1980. Before ceremonies and ceremonial knowledge were affirmed as protected intellectual property by the UN General Assembly, smaller coalitions of indigenous cultural leaders met to issue declarations about protection of ceremonial knowledge. In 1980, spiritual leaders of the Northern Cheyenne, Navajo, Hopi, Muscogee, Chippewa Cree, Haudenosaunee and Lakota nations met on the Northern Cheyenne Reservation in Montana, and issued a resolution that These non-native individuals are gathering non-Indian people as followers who believe they are receiving instructions of the original people. We, the elders and our representatives sitting in council, give warning to these non-Indian followers that it is our understanding this is not a proper process, that the authority to carry these sacred objects is given by the people. Topic. Declaration of Bellum, July 1988 The first International Congress of the International Society of Ethnobiology involving anthropologists, biologists, chemists, sociologists, and indigenous peoples met at Belém, Brazil. They identified themselves collectively as ethnobiologists, and announced that amongst other matters since indigenous cultures around the world are being disrupted and destroyed. Mechanisms ought to be established by which indigenous specialists are recognized as proper authorities and are consulted in all programs affecting them, their resources and their environment. Procedures must be developed to compensate native peoples for the utilization of their knowledge and their biological resources. Kerry OCA Declaration and Indigenous Peoples Earth Charter, May 1992 The Kerry OCA Declaration and Charter was first affirmed in Brazil in May 1992, and then reaffirmed in Indonesia, in June 2002. Ratifying the document were indigenous peoples from the Americas, Asia, Africa, Australia, Europe and the Pacific who, at Kerry OCA villages, united in one voice to collectively express their serious concern at the way the world was exploiting the natural resources upon which indigenous peoples depend. Specific reference is made within the Indigenous Peoples Earth Charter to perceived abuses of indigenous peoples' intellectual and cultural properties. Under the heading culture, science and intellectual property. Amongst other matters, it is asserted 99. The usurping of traditional medicines and knowledge from indigenous peoples should be considered a crime against peoples 102. As creators and carriers of civilizations which have given and continue to share knowledge, experience, and values with humanity, we require that our right to intellectual and cultural properties be guaranteed and that mechanisms for each be in favor of our peoples. 
104, the protection, norms and mechanism of artistic and artisan creation of our peoples must be established and implemented in order to avoid plunder, plagiarism, undue exposure, and use. Topic. Declaration of War Against Exploiters of Lakota Spirituality, June 1993 At the Lakota Summit v. an international gathering of U.S. and Canadian Lakota, Dakota and Nakota nations, about 500 representatives from 40 different tribes and bands of the Lakota unanimously passed a "...declaration of war against exploiters of Lakota spirituality." Representatives affirmed a zero-tolerance policy on the exploitation of Lakota, Dakota and Nakota ceremonial knowledge. Whereas we are conveners of an ongoing series of comprehensive forums on the abuse and exploitation of Lakota spirituality, and whereas we represent the recognized Lakota leaders, traditional elders, and grassroots advocates of the Lakota people, and whereas non-Indian charlatans and wannabes are selling books that promote systematic colonization of our Lakota spirituality, and Whereas this exponential exploitation of our Lakota spiritual traditions requires that we take immediate action to defend our most precious Lakota spirituality from further contamination, desecration and abuse. 6. We urge traditional people, tribal leaders, and governing councils of all other Indian nations, as well as all national Indian organizations, to join us in calling for an immediate end to this rampant exploitation of our respective American Indian sacred traditions by issuing statements denouncing such abuse, for it is not the Lakota, Dakota and Nakota people alone whose spiritual practices are being systematically violated by non-Indians. Point seven. We urge all our Indian brothers and sisters to act decisively and boldly in our present campaign to end the destruction of our sacred traditions, keeping in mind that our highest duty as Indian people, to preserve the purity of our precious traditions for future generations, so that our children and our children's children will survive and prosper in the sacred manner intended for each of our respective peoples by our Creator. <laughs> Matatua Declaration on Cultural and Intellectual Property Rights of Indigenous Peoples, June, 1993 On 18 June 1993, 150 delegates from 14 countries, including indigenous representatives from Japan Ainu, Australia, Cook Islands, Fiji, India, Panama, Peru, Philippines, Suriname, United States and Aotearoa New Zealand met at Fukatane Bay of Plenty region of New Zealand. The Assembly affirmed indigenous peoples' knowledge is of benefit to all humanity, recognized indigenous peoples are willing to offer their knowledge to all humanity provided their fundamental rights to define and control this knowledge is protected by the international community, insisted the first beneficiaries of indigenous knowledge must be the direct indigenous descendants of such knowledge, and declared all forms of exploitation of indigenous knowledge must cease. Under Section 2 of their declaration they specifically ask state, national and international agencies to 2.1 Recognize that indigenous peoples are the guardians of their customary knowledge and have the right to protect and control dissemination of that knowledge. 2.2 Recognize that indigenous peoples also have the right to create new knowledge based on cultural tradition. 2.3 Accept that the cultural and intellectual property rights of indigenous peoples are vested with those who created them. Topic. Julian Bull's Statement on Indigenous Intellectual Property Rights, November 1993 This declaration arose out of a meeting of indigenous and non-indigenous specialists, who, at Jingerba, in northeastern Australia, agreed indigenous intellectual property rights are best determined from within the customary laws of the indigenous groups themselves. Within the declaration, indigenous customary laws are re named Aboriginal common laws, and it is insisted these laws must be acknowledged and treated as equal to any other systems of law. Indigenous peoples and nations reaffirm their right to define for themselves their own intellectual property, acknowledging the uniqueness of their own particular heritage. Indigenous peoples and nations declare that we are willing to share our intellectual property with all humanity provided that our fundamental rights to define and control this property are recognized by the international community. Aboriginal intellectual property, within Aboriginal common law, is an inherent, inalienable right which cannot be terminated, extinguished, or taken. 
Any use of the intellectual property of Aboriginal nations and peoples may only be done in accordance with Aboriginal common law, and any unauthorized use is strictly prohibited. Santa Cruz de la Sierra Statement on Intellectual Property, September, 1994 A regional meeting was held at Santa Cruz de la Sierra, Bolivia where indigenous peoples from the South Americas concerned about the way internationally prevailing intellectual property systems and regimes appeared to be favoring the appropriation of indigenous peoples' knowledge and resources for commercial purposes, agreed For members of indigenous peoples, knowledge and determination of the use of resources are collective and intergenerational. No. Individuals or communities, nor the government, can sell or transfer ownership of cultural resources which are the property of the people and which each generation has an obligation to safeguard for the next. Work must be conducted on the design of a protection and recognition system which is in accordance with our own conception, and mechanisms must be developed, which will prevent appropriation of our resources and knowledge. There must be appropriate mechanisms for maintaining and ensuring the right of indigenous peoples to deny indiscriminate access to the cultural resources of our communities or peoples and making it possible to contest patents or other exclusive rights to what is essentially indigenous. Topic: <laughs> Tombunan Statement on the Protection and Conservation of Indigenous Knowledge, February 1995. Indigenous people of Asia met at Tambunan, Sabah, East Malaysia, to assert rights of self-determination, and to express concern about, and fear of, the threat unfamiliar Western intellectual property rights systems may pose to them. It was agreed, For the indigenous peoples of Asia, the intellectual property rights system is not only a very new concept but it is also very Western. W I T H Western style intellectual property property rights alien laws will be devised to exploit the indigenous knowledge and cultural resources of the indigenous peoples. The Western intellectual property rights system and the MIS appropriation of indigenous knowledge without the prior knowledge and consent of indigenous peoples evoke feelings of anger or being cheated. Indigenous peoples are not benefiting from the intellectual property rights system. Indigenous knowledge and cultural resources are being eroded, exploited and or appropriated by outsiders in the likes of transnational corporations, institutions, researchers, and scientists who are after profits and benefits gained. For indigenous peoples, life is a common property which cannot be owned, commercialized, and monopolized. Based on this world view, indigenous peoples find it difficult to relate Western intellectual property rights less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 to their daily lives topic suva statement on indigenous peoples knowledge and intellectual property rights april 1995 participants from the independent countries and non autonomous colonized territories of the Pacific region met in Suva, Fiji to discuss internationally dominant intellectual property rights regimes, and at that meeting they resolved to support the Kerry OCA, Matatua, Julianbull, Santa Cruz de la Sierra, and Tombunan initiatives above. In particular participants reaffirme d that imperialism is perpetuated through Western intellectual property rights systems. Declar ed indigenous peoples are willing to share our knowledge with humanity provided we determine when, where and how it is used. At present the international system does not recognize or respect our past, present and potential contribution. Seek s repatriation of indigenous peoples cultural resources already held in external collections, and seek s compensation and royalties from commercial developments resulting from these resources. Encourage s governments Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 to protest against any general agreement on tariffs and trade provisions which facilitate the expropriation of indigenous peoples' knowledge and resources. To instead incorporate the concerns of indigenous peoples. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 into legislation. Seek to strengthen the capacities of indigenous peoples to maintain their oral traditions, and encourage initiatives by indigenous peoples to record their knowledge, according to their customary access procedures. 
urge universities, churches, government, non-government organizations, and other institutions to reconsider their roles in the expropriation of indigenous peoples' knowledge and resources and to assist in their return to their rightful owners." Kimberley Declaration, August, 2002 Kimberley, South Africa August 2002. Indigenous people from around the world attended an International Indigenous People Summit on Sustainable Development in Khoi San Territory, Kimberley, South Africa, where they reaffirmed previous declarations and statements above, and, amongst other matters, declared, Our traditional knowledge systems must be respected, promoted and protected, our collective intellectual property rights must be guaranteed and ensured. Our traditional knowledge is not in the public domain, it is collective, cultural and intellectual property protected under our customary law. Unauthorized use and misappropriation of traditional knowledge is theft. <laughs> United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, September, 2007 At the United Nations General Assembly's 61st session, on 13 September 2007, an overwhelming majority of members resolved to adopt the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. Regarding the intellectual property rights of indigenous peoples, the General Assembly recognized the urgent need to respect and promote the inherent rights of indigenous peoples which derive from their political, economic and social structures and from their cultures, spiritual traditions, histories and philosophies." Reaffirmed. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 that indigenous peoples possess collective rights which are indispensable for their existence, well-being and integral development as peoples and solemnly proclaimed as an agreed standard for member nations around the world. Article 11, Indigenous peoples have the right to practice and revitalize their cultural traditions and customs. This includes the right to maintain, protect and develop the past, present and future manifestations of their cultures, such as archaeological and historical sites, artifacts, designs, ceremonies, technologies and visual and performing arts and literature. States shall provide redress through effective mechanisms, which may include restitution, developed in conjunction with indigenous peoples, with respect to their cultural, intellectual, religious and spiritual property taken without their free, prior and informed consent or in violation of their laws, traditions and customs. Article 24, indigenous peoples have the right to their traditional medicines and to maintain their health practices, including the conservation of their vital medicinal plants, animals and minerals. Article 31, indigenous peoples have the right to maintain, control, protect and develop their cultural heritage, traditional knowledge and traditional cultural expressions, as well as the manifestations of their sciences, technologies and cultures, including human and genetic resources, seeds, medicines, knowledge of the properties of fauna and flora, oral traditions, literatures, designs, sports and traditional games and visual and performing arts. They also have the right to maintain, control, protect and develop their intellectual property over such cultural heritage, traditional knowledge, and traditional cultural expressions. In conjunction with indigenous peoples, states shall take effective measures to recognize and protect the exercise of these rights. Topic. Criticism and problems Theory for intellectual property – privilege law is give creators temporary government monopoly for help creators earn their investments patents and copyrights but with idea after monopoly terminates everything becomes public domain for help create new innovation. Because of this theory, use intellectual property – privilege for control culture create many problems. Most culture items are too old for patent or copyright. Additionally, often the author or creator unknown. Registration is not filed and fees are not paid. Natural languages lie within the public domain. Art styles lie within the public domain. Properties of fauna and flora are scientific fact and their discovery and description can't have intellectual privilege for facts or information. Fauna and flora evolved, not created by humans. Can't own culture, it belongs to every person that uses it. This causes problems with human rights like expression freedom and choice. 
Cultural heritage, traditional knowledge, and traditional cultural expressions lie in the public domain. Powerful indigenous cultures in Europa English, Italianos, Russians, etc. and Asia Hindustanis, Han Chinese, etc. can reverse this and forbid indigenous people from their culture modern medicine, science, mathematics, printing, combustion engines, computer, etc. and languages like English, Chinese, Arabic, etc. and religions Christianity, Buddhism, Islam, etc. Indigenous people consume more outside culture than they can give Intellectual property owners must pay maintenance fee patents. Proponents have not offered a solid concept of collective intellectual property rights, need a specific owner that can follow laws and must accept liability in courts. Names of all groups are generic, can't protect name Maori, Apache more than English, or Thai, Chinese. Intellectual property is an idea that belongs to European culture, therefore it fails to meet the needs of indigenous culture since it is too stuck up to see indigenous communities eye to eye and come to an understanding. People innovate around restrictions. May encourage use of stereotypes instead because outside people created them. Restricting culture helps it become lost. Use of intellectual property, privilege this encourages the move against cultural prostitution. Topic. Traditional cultural expressions The phrase, traditional cultural expressions, is used by the World Intellectual Property Organization to refer to any form of artistic and literary expression in which traditional culture and knowledge are embodied. They are transmitted from one generation to the next, and include handmade textiles, paintings, stories, legends, ceremonies, music, songs, rhythms and dance. Traditional cultural expressions can include designs and styles, which means that applying traditional Western-style international copyright laws, which apply to a specific work, rather than a style, can be problematic. Indigenous customary law often treats such concepts differently, and may apply restrictions upon the use of underlying styles and concepts. Topic. Examples of indigenous peoples claiming violation of their intellectual property Topic. Inter-tribal coalitions in North America Since the 1970s, intertribal groups in North American have organized demonstrations against non-native use of Native American cultural elements, such as the sale of products and services allegedly derived from indigenous knowledge. It is a very alarming trend. So alarming that it came to the attention of an international and intertribal group of medicine people and spiritual leaders called the Circle of Elders. They were highly concerned with these activities and during one of their gatherings addressed the issue by publishing a list of plastic shamans in Equesan notes, along with a plea for them to stop their exploitative activities. One of the best-known plastic shamans, Lynn Andrews, has been picketed by the native communities in New York, Minneapolis, San Francisco, Seattle and other cities. Topic. Lakota, Dakota, and Nakota peoples The 1993 Lakota Declaration of War see above, urges people to identify instances where sacred traditions are being abused and to work towards stopping the abuse through demonstrations, boycotts, press coverage and direct intervention. Topic. Maori topic. Ka mate haka since the 19th century, Maori-style hakas have been popularly used by New Zealanders as a cheer at sporting events, especially for New Zealand national teams. Between 1998 and 2006, the Ngāti Toa Iwi attempted to trademark the Ka Mate Haka and to forbid its use by commercial organisations without their permission. The Intellectual Property Office of New Zealand turned their claim down in 2006, since Ka Mate had achieved wide recognition in New Zealand and abroad as representing New Zealand as a whole and not a particular trader. 
In 2009, as a part of a wider settlement of grievances, the New Zealand government agreed to, record the authorship and significance of the Hakka Ka Mate to Ngāti Toa and, work with Ngāti Toa to address their concerns with the Hakka, but, does not expect that redress will result in royalties for the use of Ka Mate or provide Ngāti Toa with a veto on the performance of Ka Mate. However, a survey of 19th-century New Zealand newspapers found Ka Mate was used by tribes from other parts of New Zealand, and was generally described by them as being an ancient piece peacekeeping song, from eras long before its appropriation by the Ngāti Toa chief Te Rauparaha. When Ngāti Toa authorities were asked for evidence that Ka Mate was of Ngāti Toa authorship, they were unable to provide any. Topic Legos Bionicle In 2001 a dispute concerning the popular Lego toy line Bionicle arose between Danish toymaker Lego Group and several Maori tribal groups fronted by lawyer Maui Solomon and members of the online discussion forum Aotearoa Café. The Bionicle product line allegedly used many words appropriated from Maori language, imagery and folklore. The dispute ended in an amicable settlement. Initially Lego refused to withdraw the product, saying it had drawn the names from many cultures, but later agreed that it had taken the names from Maori and agreed to change certain names or spellings to help set the toy line apart from the Maori legends. This did not prevent the many Bionicle users from continuing to use the disputed words, resulting in the popular Bionicle website BZ Power coming under a denial of service attack for four days from an attacker using the name Koshiate. Topic Maori Cigarettes In 2005 a New Zealander in Jerusalem discovered that the Philip Morris Cigarette Company had started producing a brand of cigarette in Israel called the L&M Maori Mix. In 2006, the head of Philip Morris, Louis Camilleri, issued an apology to Maori, We sincerely regret any discomfort that was caused to Maori people by our mistake and we won't be repeating it. Topic Hopi and Apache opt out from American museums In 1994 certain Native American tribal organizations demanded that a number of museums remove certain materials from exhibition and access to the public. They cited the NAGPRA as the legal basis for their complaints. Their position was that they would only permit such uses, selectively, after permission was requested directly to them. Vernon Masaysva, CEO of the Hopi tribe, and a consortium of Apache tribes demanded a number of American museums end public exhibition of and access to materials from their tribal cultures, including images, text, ceremonies, music, songs, stories, symbols, beliefs, customs, ideas, concepts and ethnographic field notes, feature films, historical works, and any other medium in which their culture may appear literally, imagined, expressed, parodied or embellished. Topic see also biopiracy and bioprospecting commercialization of indigenous knowledge Daryl A. Posey Intangible cultural heritage Intellectual property Intellectual property issues in cultural heritage I pinch. Traditional knowledge Topic References Topic Notes Topic Bibliography Dodson, Michael 2007. Report of the Secretariat on Indigenous Traditional Knowledge PDF. Report to the United Nations Economic and Social Council's Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues, 6th Session, New York, 14-25 May. United Nations Economic and Social Council. New York. Retrieved 28 November 2007. Drejos, Peter 2001. The Universality of Intellectual Property Rights, Origins and Development. World Intellectual Property Organization. Geneva. Archived from the original doc on 2 December 2007. Retrieved 28 November 2007. Jones, Peter 2008. Intellectual Property, Indigenous Peoples, and the Law. Indigenous Peoples, Issues and Resources Website. Retrieved 24 May 2010. United Nations General Assembly 2007. United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples PDF. United Nations General Assembly. Archived from the original PDF on the 11th of February 2009. Retrieved the 26th of November 2007. World Intellectual Property Organization 2001. Intellectual Property Needs and Expectations of Traditional Knowledge Holders. WIPO Report on Fact Finding Missions on Intellectual Property and Traditional Knowledge 1998-1999. World Intellectual Property Organization. Geneva. Archived from the original on 12 February 2006. Retrieved 28 November 2007. Topic. External links WIPO Database of Indigenous Intellectual Property Codes, Guidelines, and Practices 
Indigenous Peoples and Intellectual Property, Resource Database Intellectual Property Issues in Cultural Heritage Protecting Indigenous Traditional Cultural Expressions <laughs>